This video is not intended to provide safety training. You must comply with your employer's safety standards and obtain necessary training before making electrical measurements. Never forget that you are the most important asset on the job. Everyone knows electricity can be dangerous. That's why we emphasize safety in everything we do and offer these safety tips. Before you work around electricity, make sure you're properly trained. This should be formal, specialized training with a certified instructor. Keep in mind the importance of what you do and how you do it. That means following all company policies and procedures, as well as OSHA and industry best practice standards, such as the National Fire Protection Association 70E, the standard for electrical safety in the workplace, or the National Electrical Safety Code. Outside the U.S., the standards may be different. Many countries reference IEC 60364, the Canadian Electrical Code, or German DIN VDE. Also remember to assess electrical hazards during the pre-job planning. Then carefully follow company guidelines for lockout and tagout, and use proper PPE. Always assume the equipment is energized until you verify absence of voltage. Your life depends on it. Ultimately, you are responsible for your own safety. So listen to the voice in your head. When it says, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Marble Trading Company, number 24, Abdul Ghaffur Marbata, Kalamba 3.